Okay, stand by. Hello, my name is Donette Douglas. I am the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. This program behind the scenes you are watching, we tape right here in the studio at 222 North 6th Street. I'm always excited to be with you and bring you news and bring you information about what's going on here at the station. First of all, I pray you're all staying cool. I know it's a very hot day out there. We are recording this on Thursday the 16th of June and uh, people are, well, I've got my hair pulled back. In fact, it's in pigtails, but whatever you can do uh, to stay cool, stay cool, drink a lot of fluids. And uh, we're just thankful for AC, aren't we? Air conditioning. But I'm also thankful for JC, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. How about you? Amen. Amen. Well, let's go to our slideshow and see what's been going on here at the studio. First, uh, this is uh, Pastor Robert Axton, and he hosts Exploring God's Word right here on WTJR. And uh, he was here and taped a couple of programs. Well, more than that, he, he taped four programs, yes. And then we have um, Evangelist Robert Newton here. This is from when we had Revive America on the 5th. Here in the studio, we do it live once a month. Brought a wonderful message as always. He is in the revivalist and God has anointed him to preach revival. Amen. This is April Davis. She was here to lead us in worship. And as always, what an anointing on her. We're so thankful when she joins us. Then we recorded some secret place ministry programs with host minister Darlene Holiday. And you'll be watching these programs in the next few weeks here on WTJR. And this is George Osmus. He hosts the Potter's Wheel right here at WTJR. And he was also in the studio recording some more footage. Uh, George edits his programs and we do a lot of footage work with him and um, help encouraging him uh, in this new, new projects that God has given him. And uh, we're thankful for the Potter's Wheel. Amen, amen. And then this is Pray 16, um, the first Friday of the month, uh, Pastor Tim Redd of Second Baptist Church in Fort Madison, Iowa. He's here to uh, co-host with Pastor Gary Wallace and uh, always has a word from the Lord and encouraging us and how important our prayer life is. Uh, it's important that we pray because that is communicating with God. And as we communicate more with God, our relationship grows stronger. And that's true with any relationships. So uh, we can, our relationship with God can be as close and strong as you want it, or it can be as far apart and weak as you want it. Depends on how much time you want to spend communicating. So we encourage people to have that prayer life with the Lord. And then the following uh, Friday, the second Friday of the month, Pastor Brandon Mize with Calvary Tabernacle here comes. And again, he had another awesome word about uh, God's faithfulness and uh, the importance of prayer. Again, we want to encourage people to know that God does hear our prayers and he does answer them. We just have to stand in faith and believe and receive. Amen. Amen. And then we recorded some uh, Simple Truth programs with John Furness. He's the host, the Bible teacher, and uh, in the studio this last week. And uh, Dick Stewart was here to record some I Believe programs. And then this is from Outreach Connection. This was uh, Lady Hamida Williams. Uh, she's with the uh, Women's Prayer Group in Hannibal, Missouri was here to tape a program with Sandy Axton. She is the host of the program. 
And then Sarah Stevens was here from Horizons right here in Quincy. They have a soup kitchen and food pantry and a lot of other ministries. You want to be sure and watch that program and find out about all of the services they have available there at Horizons. And then we taped a program with, uh, in the middle there is Dr. Dale Bittner. On the left is Minister James Miller. They are from the Oskaloosa, Iowa area, and they are with APAC Ministries International. And APAP stands for the fivefold ministry, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. And you want to be sure and watch that program coming up on Outreach Connection. Amen, amen. Talked about a trip uh, they're going to be taking to Kenya in October. Amen, amen. Okay, yeah, what do you think of that green screen? We've been doing a few of the programs since we got the green screen, and it's actually a green screen. Jim has showed you that a few times, and you can put different pictures up. And uh, we're having kind of fun learning, <laughs> and it is a learning experience. But, we you know, we always want to learn and grow. I want to keep growing because if you're not moving and growing, well, <laughs> you're getting kind of stagnant and sometimes you start dying. You know what I mean? Going back the other way. So um, I always like to learn about things, especially with the TV and about the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay. Monthly church donations for the month of May. I want to thank the area churches that uh, support the ministry work here at WTJR. We had eight churches giving a total of $325 in donations. And uh, those churches were the uh, Augusta, uh, or Assembly of God Sunday School in Augusta, Illinois, Faith Missions Outreach in Quincy, Illinois, First Assembly of God Church in Ewing, Missouri, Glory Worship Center in Clayton, Illinois, House of Prayer in Kinderhook, Illinois, Loman Chapel in Shabina, Missouri, Pontusi Community Church in Pontusi, Illinois, and Shepherd's Gate Foursquare Church in Macomb, Illinois. And I do thank each and every one of you because you are helping us to broadcast the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nations. Amen. And as you can see, we have the screen up there. We want to give you an update on the new tube, just about to reach $13,000. I just thank each and every one of you that have sent in a donation. If you would like to, uh, be sure on your check, um, put a note that it's for the new tube, and uh, we'll get it in that uh, account. And we just thank you so very much for being a part of the work here at WTJR by your prayers and your financial support. Amen. Well, WTJR 16.1 program update. You may have seen this as one of our spots, but I wanted to tell you that we have a time change. You can watch through the Bible with Les Feldick Monday through Friday. He Yes, he's on five days a week now on WTJR 16.1 at 12.30 p.m. Monday through Friday at 12.30 p.m. And the reason I uh, made this screen was I have gotten some phone calls, even uh, Facebook, uh, about wanting to know why we took Les Feldig off. They turned on at 11 o'clock and he wasn't there. And uh, if you receive the newsletter from WTJR on the back, I have scheduled changes for uh, channel 16.1. But uh, I know that a lot of you viewers do not get that. If you would like to have a schedule or receive our newsletter, then you can contact us. There's our address for mailing something to us, our email. Uh, you can call us. Uh, we'll get you added to our uh, mailing list for our newsletter. Or if you want to go on our website, WTJR.org, we do have the schedule for channel 16.1 on there. And anytime I make changes, we will highlight that area in gray. So you will know that's a new program. But if we can go backwards one, Jim, I know I'm making you go backwards. But write this down. Tell your friends, because I know a lot of people like Through the Bible with Les Feldick. Would you help us get the news to them? that he now airs five days a week, Monday through Friday at 12.30 p.m. Thank you. 
Also, if you would like to receive our newsletter by email, uh, please contact us. I had sent this uh, out with the uh, newsletter in May for people who would like to stop receiving the newsletter by mail and get it by email. So if you can just uh, contact us and give us your email address, we can do that. And also if you have any address changes, please contact and let us know. Okay, so we can keep our mailing list and our email mailing list up yeah, current. Amen. Amen. Okay, I like how he can make me appear and disappear. <laughs> Just push a button and I'm gone. There I am. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I have fun with this. That's all right. It's good. Uh, WTJR Channel 16 has five channels. We have 16.1 HD, which is the national local programming. 16.2 is CTN Lifestyle. 16.3 is CTNI, which is Spanish Christian Programming. And then we also air Christian Video Channel early in the morning, late in the evening, and on the weekends, okay? And that's music videos, uh, plus some WTJR classics, some movies, and some children's programming. 16.4 is CTN out of Largo, Florida programs and then 16.5 is radio 16 which is just worship music and i know many of you really have commented about how much you enjoy that fifth channel wtjr is your locally supported christian television station we are part of the ctn uh, christian television network family out of clearwater florida and uh, we thank you for your prayers we thank you for your financial support and all of your donations are tax deductible. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. So again, we're thankful for WTJR. How about you? Amen. Amen. We'd invite you to join us for prayer on Mondays right here in the studio at 222 North 6th Street. And we are on the second floor. You will have to ring the doorbell. And we also have an elevator, okay? So uh, you don't have to climb all those stairs. But we would love to have you join us in prayer here at the studio. If you need prayer, give us a call at 217-228-1616. If you happen to get the answering machine, please leave a message, your name and phone number that you'd like prayer, and we will get back with you. Thank you. I also want to let you know and tell people about Pray 16. This is a live call-in prayer show. It's on Fridays from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. Pastor Gary Wallace is the host, and he's also pastor of River of Life Church here in Quincy. But each week he has a different co-host. And as I said in the beginning when we were showing you the slideshow, the first Friday of the month, Pastor Tim Red of Second Baptist Church in Fort Ma uh, Fort Madison, Iowa. He's the co-host. And the second Friday, we have Pastor Brandon Mize with Calvary Tabernacle here in Quincy. The third Friday, we have various people. And coming up, we're going to have, uh, uh, I, well, this week uh, is Robert Axton. He's pastor at uh, United Pentecostal Church in Palmyra. But the fourth Friday of the month, uh, Terry Mayer uh, from Hannibal True Church but she had a uh, scheduling conflict. So I called up our dear friend, Minister Darlene Holliday, and she's the host of Secret Place Ministries here on WTJR. And she's going to come be with us on the 20, uh, let me get the date there, the 24th, June the 24th. She will be here uh, to be the co-host. This program we repeat on Mondays at 9 p.m. We are no longer airing it on Saturday evening at 8 p.m. because we have the movie time. I would encourage you to call in prayer request. I also um, have an email, pray16 at wtjr.org, that you can email us your prayer request. We are also live on our Facebook page at that same time at 11 a.m. on Fridays. Please, if you watch it on Facebook, would you please share that with your friends? And then you're helping us to reach even more people. But I know it's important, especially in this day and age, when so much is going on in the world and in people's lives, 
we need to stand together in faith and in prayer. So please tell people about this Pray 16 program, okay? Now on CTN out of Clearwater, Florida, they have the You and Me program. This is a live prayer program, Monday through Friday at 11.30 p.m. And uh, they have an 800 number that you can call anytime for prayer, 1-800-716-7729. This is how, I just wanted you to see how important prayer is to CTN and to WTJR. Because I know that uh, God hears, he answers prayer. And he shows us great and mighty things. We don't always understand, but we say thank you, God. Amen. If you're interested in soul winning training, give me a call here at the station, and I'll be glad to pray with you. We do use the soul winning script from the Great Awakening. And our theme scripture is from Mark 16, 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Download the CTN app. Have you uh, downloaded the CTN app yet? Well, it's very easy if you have an iPhone or an Android or tablet to download it. Uh, and um, maybe we'll give you some more information or even make a little video one of these days to show you how to do that. You can also, if you have Roku or Apple TV, put it on your television. But you can go on that app and go to the live stream and bring up all of the CTN stations and you will find WTJR there. And wherever you are at and you have your phone or your iPad, um, you can watch WTJR. So I just wanna encourage you to download that app and tell other people about it, okay? Amen. And friend us on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. Uh, we have live programming like the Pray 16. We have Revive America on there, live on the first Tuesday of the month. We have calendar events. Um, we have videos. Uh, sometimes Jim will put some spots on there. I put some scripture and some uh, words of encouragement on there for you from God's word. So check out our Facebook page, WTJR TV. Coming up this next week on A Woman's Joy, my guest is Paula Wallace, and she is the wife of Gary Wallace, at past, and they pastor together, I should say, at River of Life Church here in Quincy. Uh, she taped two programs with me, and this, this week she's going to talk about her testimony of deliverance from um, um, and redemption, and uh, it's uh, you want to be sure and watch it. That will air on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. and Friday at 9 p.m. Behind the Scenes, the show you're watching right now, airs on Fridays at 6 p.m., Sunday at 7.30 p.m., and Monday at 1 p.m. Christ Video, uh, produced by Jim Wilson. Uh, that is a half-hour uh, music video program. Airs on Tuesday at 3 p.m., Friday at 10 p.m., and Saturday at 11.30 p.m. Conquering Your Giants with Duke Duvall, and his message will be being excellent, managers of our time, talents, and treasures. You can watch that on Wednesday at 9.30 p.m., Sunday at 6.30 a.m. And any of our local programs here, if you miss a program, you can go and watch them on our YouTube page. Amen. Exploring God's Word with Pastor Robert Axton. Uh, the message in the teaching, I should say, is Joseph the Dreamer. You can watch that on Monday at 9.30 a.m. and Saturday at 3 p.m. Freedom from Addiction with Pastors Jerry and Julie Jenkins airs on Thursdays at 9.45 a.m. and Sunday at 3.45 p.m. I Believe, hosted by Dick Stewart, airs on Thursdays at 9.30 a.m., Sunday at 3.30 p.m., and his teaching, he is in a series about Make Your Money Grow, and this is part three. Musical Memories with Martha Reed Garvin. You can watch that on Saturday at 6.30 p.m. and Sunday at 8 p.m. Outreach Connection, uh, hosted by Sandy Axton, and her guests this next week are Debbie our David and Debbie Amsler with One Way Guatemala, and they give an update about the ministry work there. And you can watch that on Monday at 11 a.m., Wednesday at 9 p.m., and Saturday at 5 p.m. 
Pastor Speaks this coming uh, Sunday. Uh, we have a message for Father's Day, and Mike Gonzalez with CTN in West Palm Beach, Florida, uh, will be bringing the message, and you can watch that on Sunday at 2 p.m., Tuesday at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Revive America, live, right here in the studio, on the first Tuesday of July, which will be the 5th. Worship will be at 7 p.m. with a message at 7.30 p.m., with evangelist Robert Newton. You can join us in the studio. I just ask you to be here by 645, or you can call in for prayer during the program. So come and join us in the TV studio. Be a part of this live Revive America on Tuesday, July the 5th. The Potter's Wheel with George Osmus airs on Monday at 8.30 p.m. and Saturday at 11 p.m. Uh, the Ten Commandments series <clears throat> is on break, and we have been playing some of the WTJR classics. I pray you've been enjoying those. You can watch them on Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. and Thursday at 9 p.m. Secret Place Ministries with Minister Darlene Holiday airs on Mondays at 9.45 a.m., Saturday at 3.15 p.m., and the message is unity with holy spirit and the simple truth with john Furness, and he's on the teaching about the gifts of the spirit and next week he will be talking about discerning spirits you can watch that on monday at 7 30 p.m and sunday at 2 30 p.m hometown happenings amen amen it uh, may be hot weather out there, but there are events going on, and we like to be able to get the information out. We love to help you. You can email that information to tv16 at wtjr.org, or you can contact me. Uh, there's the phone number, and uh, <clears throat> you can see the yellow area there in that map. That's our DMA area. We reach out about 60 to 70 miles around Quincy over the air on antenna, on cable, your local cable company, Dish Channel 32, or you can go on our website and watch our web stream at WTJR.org. This week I want to talk about a concert with Master's Voice. This will be Friday, June 24th at 7 p.m. at the historic Golden Windmill, 902 Prairie Mills Road in Golden, Illinois. A free will offering will be taken. If you'd like more information, you can call 217-593-7455. Also, you can email cfriend11 at frontier.com, or you can go on their website, www.faithandgraceparish.org, to see of other events coming up at the windmill. So if you want, you can send your information to us two weeks ahead of time. We'll get it on Hometown Happenings, our WTJR community calendar on channel 16.1, our Facebook page, WTJR TV. You can also email your information to TV16 at WTJR.org. Wow, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> Almost got tongue-tied on that one uh, phone number anyway amen amen okay well we're going to take a little break just for a little bit here and for our bridge today we have a prayer spot with Yolanda Morris and Yolanda is president of CTN she's the daughter of the late Robert DeAndrea and uh, she has made several prayer spots and we want to air one of them for you now this is Yolanda Morris, and she is the president of CTN. Here at CTN, we believe in the power of prayer and the power of agreement. According to Matthew 18, 19, and 20, will you take a prayer break with us right now to pray over our finances? Father, I pray right now over the finances of our viewers. God, you know their needs. I thank you that you are present and that you will provide them with the financial resources that they need to have stability. I pray over people that need financial miracles, that you would meet them in their hour of need. 
Holy Spirit, I pray that you would speak to people on how to budget and use their finances correctly. If we have misused our finances, I pray that you would forgive us and give us wisdom. Help us to see the blessing of tithing and giving offerings and to be obedient to those actions. Strengthen us to not lose hope that you take care of us. We cast our cares on you. Thank you for hearing us, speaking to us, and taking care of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying and agreeing with us. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Here at WTJR, we praise God for the hope we can have through Jesus Christ. And that's from preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ over the air. Our scripture we're using is Mark 16, 15 from the English Standard Version. And he said to them, and this is Jesus, uh, the letters are in red in your Bible, if you have a red letter Bible, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. These are some of the last words that Jesus spoke to his disciples and to his followers before he ascended into heaven. Go, preach, proclaim the gospel. Go is an action word. So we got to get up and put some action into what we say we believe. If we call ourselves a Christian, that is Christ-like. We are a follower of Jesus Christ. Then we that word is for us. So we're going to have to get up and go. That's the second part of being a disciple. We've talked about this for several weeks now. Is to go and assist to encourage one another, support one another, pray for one another. It's very important. Teaching and allow the Holy Spirit to speak through us and teach people about the kingdom of God. Proclaim was in that verse that I read. To proclaim is to announce publicly. Declare something that you feel is important with due emphasis. I believe today it is more important than ever that we not only speak and tell people about Jesus, but we live the life before others. My dad always said, you got to walk the talk. <laughs> got to walk the talk, because if we don't, it kind of voids itself out. And you might say, well, I'm a quiet person. I have a hard time talking to people. But you know what? You're still being a witness by your actions about how you treat other people. Maybe uh, by things that you don't say. I mean, we can say words that bring life to people or we can gossip and talk about people and that's not good. That brings shame to those people and it discourages people. And then they start judging those people, and that's bringing death. So we need to speak out words that will glorify our Father in heaven. We need to live the life that we say we are. That's so important, so important. And people are watching us all around. First of all, our family's watching us. Kind of like telling your kids to do something, but you don't do it. <laughs> so if you're not doing that, it's going to void it, isn't it? So it's very important that we be walking the talk. If we love the Lord, then we will love others and encourage him. God bless. <music>